Bam, Tesla Cam. I hope you're satisfied. Nico was waiting at a traffic light. When it turned green, he began to slowly enter the intersection. His light had been green for almost five seconds when a Honda driver blew through his red light and hit Nico head on. Nico's Tesla lit up every error message you can think of and his car refused to move. After the Honda rolled to a stop, it was down for the count as well. Nico checked on the Honda driver and found out she was unlicensed and uninsured. He notified the police, and the Honda driver was cited for driving without a license and for driving without insurance. All Nico could do was shake his head while imagining the jingle, Jumpin! Honda bumped! That makes this a perfect opportunity to show you our new merch for 2024. We've finally got Honda bump designs in stock, so go check them out. Alex was driving on Interstate 10 in Houston, Texas. The weather was bad and the roads were covered in ice. Alex was crossing an overpass that was completely iced over when another driver locked up their brakes before tapping the left quarter panel of his Model S. Alex got out to check for damage, which he admits in hindsight he should not have done on the icy highway. Amazingly, he found no damage besides a smudge of paint, which he was able to wipe off. The two drivers wished each other a pleasant day and continued on with their mornings. Alejandro was driving down a highway when a Jeep on his right side slowed down after one of its wheels began wobbling. The driver behind the Jeep wasn't paying attention and rear-ended the Jeep after failing to slow down. Alejandro told us he saw the Jeep coming and instinctively swerved away from it, and his Tesla sounded an alarm and warned him to stay in his lane since there was a vehicle on the other side. Gavin's friend was driving down the right lane of a street and noticed a pickup backing into a driveway up ahead. When he suddenly began entering the street again, she hit the brakes and swerved to the left to avoid a collision. A Hyundai in the left lane hit the Tesla's left corner, briefly lifting it off the ground. Gavin isn't sure who's responsible, but for collisions involving only property damage, New York is a no-fault state, so his friend will have to use her own insurance policy and pay her deductible to get the damage fixed. Gavin's friend called him, and he responded in his own Model 3 to help her extract her Tesla cam footage before her Tesla was towed away. Two of New York's finest responded, but Gavin told us they seemed very lazy and only facilitated the exchange of information, refusing to even make a police report. The Hyundai driver didn't even have a driver's license and was driving with a learner's permit. Gavin told us that, in New York, you can drive with a learner's permit so long as a passenger in the front seat is at least 21 years old and has a driver's license. But the cops refused to find out if the passenger was licensed. The repair bill came to 10,000 US dollars. Taylor was driving his Model 3 to work in Thousand Oaks, California. As he was merging onto the highway, a Lexus driver merged into his lane and sideswiped his Tesla. Both drivers pulled over and traded information. Taylor told us this wasn't his first collision and he was able to calm down the other driver while remaining calm himself. The other driver was upset and claimed the collision had been Taylor's fault, even though she hadn't been using her turn signal and Taylor was already in the lane. She went ahead and told her insurance provider, AAA, that the collision was all Taylor's fault. Remember how I told you that Taylor had been on his way to work? Here comes the twist. Taylor works for AAA, the same insurance company the other driver had lied to. Taylor kept this to himself though. He didn't tell her or his employer anything about the collision. All he had to do was send them his Tesla cam video and everything got sorted out. The repairs cost 7,000 US dollars and took less than a week. If you live near Oxnard, Taylor recommends Tony's Body Shop and told us they're great with Teslas. Jason was sitting at a red light when he heard a siren approaching. An ambulance driver swung wide to get a better view of the intersection before they crossed oncoming traffic that had a green light. The ambulance's turn signal was indicating for a right turn when the driver of a Kia EV6 decided to go for it. Jason just shook his head in disbelief. Don't people know not to pass emergency vehicles with lights and sirens active? BZ02 was driving his Model Y to Dulles Airport when he noticed a blue Hyundai coming up behind him fast, swerving in and out of traffic. The Hyundai passed him, but then, wait for it. The boys in blue were hot on the Hyundai's trail before they lit up the party lights and pulled it over. Our submitter was glad to have witnessed some instant justice on his way to catch his vacation flight. 
Hopefully BZO2 made it safely to his destination without incident, unlike the passengers of the plane in this video from Joel. He was taking his wife Emily to work when they noticed what they thought was a huge vehicle collision scene. When they got closer, they discovered a plane had made an emergency landing just outside of Dulles Airport. Joel kept going to get his wife to work on time. On his way back, his daughter took this video with his phone. Did you know we've actually shown an airplane emergency landing on a highway once before? It's in episode 102 of Tesla Cam Stories, one of our least viewed episodes ever, which makes no sense because it's a banger. Seriously, check this out. At first, she almost couldn't believe her eyes. It was a small airplane getting ready to land in the northbound lanes. She could tell it was an emergency landing since there was still plenty of traffic on the road. Incredibly, the plane successfully touched ground and even fit under the I-75 overpass during landing. What a great move from the pilot. Well done, Captain Sully. I uh, just lost power and I had to bring it in for a landing somewhere and this road actually wasn't as busy when I, when I came in. Probably buzzed a few people and put it down on the road and tried to get it off the road. It's not on the median. And the pilot is okay and he tells us the only damage the plane suffered is a flat tire from when he hopped the curb to get into the median. Speaking of airports, Slachter had parked his Tesla Model 3 in the Long Beach Airport parking garage on Saturday for his annual trip to Atlanta for DragonCon. A few hours after he'd left, a young man who was leaving wasn't paying attention and turned too soon, rolling his back tire into the fender of the Tesla. Once he'd returned to his parking spot, the footage shows the impact flattened his tire. Slachter is proud of his Tesla for fighting back. The guy appeared distraught as he got out of his vehicle, walked around the Tesla, took some photos, and finally got back in his truck and drove away. But wait, there's more! For several days, people who walked past the damaged Tesla were walking over to get a better look at something. The guy had left a note. His name is Kenny, and the person he'd been calling was his mother, who had told him what to do. Kenny documented the damage and left a note with his contact information, which was the right thing to do. Kenny, you're the man. Accidents happen, but owning up to them is what matters. A couple of days later, Slackter's wife returned early and discovered the damage. They called Kenny, and he was incredibly sorry, but very helpful as he provided them with his insurance information. Repairs cost $8,200 US dollars and took five weeks to complete. Kenny is this week's real MVP. We're sending him a link so he can pick out whatever he wants from our new merch selection. He deserves it. This next video demonstrated what happens when someone less responsible crashes into a Tesla. Rick was attending a Lindsey Sterling concert at the Cherokee Casino when he received a phone notification that sentry mode had been triggered. The driver of a GMC Terrain hit his car before fleeing without leaving a note or even checking for damage. Rick made a report with the casino security and the Cherokee Tribal Police, but the officer who took the report resigned before he finished filing it. We don't know if he was just ready to retire or if he just took a really long time to file his paperwork. It turned out that the other driver had the same insurance provider that Rick does. When he made an insurance claim, the other driver denied hitting his car, but he'll have a hard time disputing the video evidence. Sean was waiting in a left turn lane when a Toyota Tacoma slammed into the back of his Model Y. We've had fans suggest calling this a Toyota tap, but we're not convinced. Can you think of anything better? Sean also had an aftermarket dash cam running, which captured audio. The Toyota driver told Sean he'd tried to stop, but he hit a small patch of ice. Sean doesn't know if that's true or if the guy just wasn't paying attention as he hadn't encountered any ice patches that hadn't been salted. Sean didn't notice any damage to his Tesla at the time, but he got the other driver's info anyway before they both continued. That ended up being the right call as he discovered some damage later after cleaning the dirt off his car. He'll be filing a claim with the Toyota driver's insurance provider to get his Model Y repaired. KK was driving his Model 3 in Sydney, Australia. It was his 10th wedding anniversary, so he and his wife and their 10-year-old son were taking a trip to the Blue Mountains. Sadly, a Toyota tap gave their trip more excitement than they'd been hoping for. KK told us the Toyota had been following too closely for a long time, and sadly, his fears were realized. This was KK's first collision after two years of owning and driving his Model 3 in perfect condition. 
He puts some of the blame on himself, as he wasn't using autopilot at the time and thinks it might have been able to avoid the collision. The other driver took full responsibility and was very apologetic. Their insurance provider will be paying for KK's repairs. John was headed home with some friends after attending a wedding. As they entered the bridge that connects New Jersey and Manhattan, the driver in front of him suddenly slammed on his brakes. John's Tesla's automatic emergency braking activated, helping him avoid rear-ending the other vehicles. Then, as he turned around to check on his passengers in the back seat, they were rear-ended by someone else. The impact sandwiched John's Tesla between the vehicle that had struck him and the one he just avoided hitting. When John's passengers began to smell smoke inside the Tesla, they all got out and made sure everyone was okay. When John tried to pull over to the shoulder to allow traffic to pass, his Tesla completely shut down. He was unable to open the trunk or the doors or even roll the windows down. They were directing traffic around the scene until police arrived along with a tow truck. Hey, who's doing that? What's going on? <sighs> Not this again. Okay, haha, ha, very funny. Repairing John's Tesla was less funny, costing 17,000 US dollars and taking six months. Paul was arriving at work in Berlin, Germany. We can't tell you where he works, but we'll just say it's a huge car factory where the vehicles they build all have Tesla cams. That ought to narrow it down for you. Anyway, as he entered the employee parking lot, an Audi driver ahead of him was also looking for a parking space, and when he spotted one, he began maneuvering to the left to take it. Thinking the Audi driver would just pull into the spot, he began driving past him, but then the Audi driver suddenly turned right and crashed into Paul's Tesla. The Audi driver had meant to back into a spot, and he'd been swinging around to line up with it. When the police arrived, Paul told them he had Tesla cam footage, and they were very appreciative. They watched the footage right there at the scene, and they said that, in their opinions, the fault was 50-50. According to them, Paul should have stopped and waited for the Audi driver to finish parking. And the Audi driver should have signaled and been looking out for other traffic. Still, the police didn't want to make the determination, so they decided to forward the case to the German government and let them decide. If this had happened in a public parking lot, the Audi driver would have been responsible, but this parking lot is private, which complicates the matter. A month later, Paul received a letter from the insurance company that the government had decided for 50-50 liability. Repairing his Tesla cost about 3,800 US dollars and took a week. He also wanted to shout out his friend Big C, who watches our videos with him every day. You know what? Shout out to you all for building such epic vehicles. Mike and his wife had only been driving their Model Y for three weeks, and in this video, we can see their temporary plates were still on it when they experienced the quintessential wham-bam moment. A Honda driver pulled up, then proceeded to ram into the Tesla while attempting to park her car. It looks like she really wanted their parking spot. Mike's wife heard the collision, and they went out to see what had happened. They waited 20 minutes for the driver's grandmother to arrive and give them her insurance information. Predictably, the Honda driver was found responsible for the damage. The repair estimate from the insurance company was 1300 US dollars, but after watching lots of Wham Bam videos, Mike thinks it'll end up being way more than that. Rezzy was driving with his five-year-old in his Tesla when they pulled up behind a semi-truck at a red light. While waiting for the light, the trucker decided to reverse in order to change lanes. Do you see a reverse light? Rezzy honked as soon as he saw the truck backing up, which caused a skip in the Tesla cam footage, but the trucker didn't stop backing up. Thankfully, Rezzy reacted quickly and was able to back up just in time. Rezzy told us he didn't let the trucker get under his skin. If his kid hadn't been with him, he would have let him back into the Tesla, which would have taught him an expensive lesson. He's filed a complaint with the trucking company, and he even gave them a link to the video, but so far, they haven't responded. Speaking of bad truck drivers, Clive was driving south on State Highway 1 in Auckland, New Zealand when a truck driver changed lanes without noticing a black Citron in his blind spot. The truck pit maneuvered the car, but thankfully, he quickly noticed what was happening and stopped. Clive reported the collision to the police, and they immediately dispatched officers to the scene. By the time he drove back the other way an hour later, the collision had been cleared. This submitter is a Lyft driver who had just picked up some passengers. Watch what happened when he approached an intersection with a stop sign. 
A white Toyota Camry pulled into traffic and hit the side of a Toyota FJ Cruiser, flipping it over. Since our submitter had passengers in his car and saw others rushing to help, he continued on. When he passed by 20 minutes later, the passengers of the FJ Cruiser were standing next to it. When our submitter asked them if they were okay, they confirmed that they hadn't been hurt and even declined his offer to call an ambulance. Logan was heading to work one morning and was making his way toward the HOV lane in preparation for his exit. As the lane opened up, a ramp fell off a trailer, sending sparks flying. Logan barely avoided it, but a car in the lane to his right ran over it, but appeared undamaged. Logan sped up and tried to get the driver's attention, but they drove off before he could alert them. Keenan was on his way to get some coffee. After turning left at an intersection, he noticed the driver of the pickup next to him activate his turn signal to merge into his lane, so he slowed down to let him in. When the pickup driver hit the accelerator, it seems his truck pooped out what looks like a catalytic converter. Keenan and the other drivers on the road had to dodge the new road debris, but the pickup driver must not have noticed as he didn't stop to collect it. 